Bearcats power play coming into tonight, 23.3%, which is fifth best in the Maritime Hockey League. The Western Capitals scores! Just about to say what the stats were for the Western Capitals. Penalty kill, get a little worse after that. Just 10 seconds into the power play, the Bearcats bury the puck, 1-0 Truro. Fiziani, cross ice pass connects, now trying to hit Bezanet in the middle of the ice. That was broken up by the Western Capitals, but the puck stays along the far boards. Fight. Cycles it back in behind him to Bezanet. Pye comes in to help out, puck comes loose. Western Capitals unable to clear. Fife keeps it in, just dropped it off for Bazinet. Fife wanted a shot, now he gets another one, scores! Bill Fife took the shot, Chamberlain thought he had it, just trickled in behind him despite the efforts of a diving player for the Western Capitals. Leonis Krokoff tried to keep it out, just crossed the line. Over four minutes into this game, it's 2-0 Bearcats. A deal was announced today. Canterbury acquired from the Lumberjacks for the rights to Drew Wilson, a second round pick in 2014, a fifth rounder in 2015. Now across, Mosier took his time, ripped the shot. Chamberlain, quite sure where it was, caught in his equipment. I'm sure if it's a bit of pain or just some frustration on that play. Actually, the puck may have hit him in the neck, digging in top of his jersey for the puck. The linesman comes over to give him a hand now. He looks to be okay. Just a bit of a stinger as the shot came in. Mosier had half the net to shoot at and waited too long. Chamberlain able to slide across to his right. Made the save, but looks like he's paid for it. Now we have all of Summerside coming over to help their goaltender out. And the puck is free and we can play. Chamberlain plays it all the way up to his own blue line. Now we have a fight right across. Hornbrook, can't see who it is he's fighting. Both players have their helmets on. I think it's Bazinet. Actually, it's Riley. Most likely retaliation for the hit that Riley laid on Johnson. Knocked the Western Capital forward out of this game. Back to the line, Krokop winds and fires a shot. That one was blocked right in front. Tough way to make a living, shot was blocked. Trying to see who it was, I believe it was McNaughton. Both teams banging their sticks on the boards in free. Poliziani got the pass across, and stood up, lines. Hit came in by Fitzgerald. Play was back. Gets the pass across. Stavert takes the shot. Fancy with the big blocker save. Able to follow the shooter and slid across to make it an easy save. Now Pye. At the side of the goal. Wraparound front. Scores! Brandon Pye went behind the net. Got it in front to Phil Fife. The Bearcat captain has his second goal of the night. 3 nothing Bearcats. Looking at top corner. Fancy couldn't get his glove on it. Now there's a hit on the far side. Henneberry is down. And now we'll have a fight. Jay and Denver Lines. Lines is the one that hit Henneberry. The two players going out of here are Lines and Jay. Jay came in immediately to defend his teammate. Both players throwing. Jay getting a few more shots in right now. Players' jerseys tied up. Both. Tenches into the fight. 
Jay gets taken down. Now the linesmen come in. Second fight of this game. Isaac Jay from Summerside, Denver Lions for the Bearcats. So everything will offset after that play. By Wood, stopped by Lance Leaf. Ahead for Haynes, finds the puck. Now in front of the goal, shot comes in. Save me by Chamberlain. I don't know if Chamberlain actually made the save or if Renault just wasn't able to get much on the shot. Renault got hauled down, fell into Summon Pierre Chamberlain. Looks like he may have slid back into the post. Summerside players moving the net aside. Trainer Lawrence McKinnon coming over. See his goaltender still lying on his back. Must be okay, he just asked for the water bottle from one of his teammates in his blocker hand. Four twenty-nine left in this game. Bearcats came out of the gate with two goals in the first four and a half minutes. Things settled down between the two teams. Till Fife picked up his second goal of the game earlier in this period. A blow to the head, knocked out Malik Johnson for the Western Capitals in the first period, then a hit just a few minutes ago by Denver Lines. I believe that has knocked Mitch Henneberry. He's playing his first game with the Western Capitals since being acquired from Bridgewater. He is out. Chamberlain, show, they're slow rather to get up. It looks like it's an arm injury. Lines was given a game misconduct along with Isaac J of the Western Capitals. J came in to protect his teammate right away. Now we have another blow to the head there from Zen Hamill. No call on the play. Summerside on the attack. Fitzgerald, centering pass. Shot comes in. Save made by Jacob Fancy. Beautiful save. Now another shot comes in. Another save by Fancy. Now up to Haynes. Haynes cutting in. Smith going towards the front of the net. Over to Smith. Smith can't get a shot away. Good job there by Crowcock to tie up the stick. And that will do it. The Bearcats take the first half of this home and home. It's a 3 0 win for Truro over the Summerside Western Capitals. Shots on goal for the game 24 22 in favor of Truro. Shots were seven to five in favor of the Bearcats. Now the three stars. Phil Fife with two goals here tonight. Picks up third star honors. Brandon Pye had two assists, played a great game for the Bearcats here. The Community Credit Union Arena picks up the second star and wins its first shutout of the season. It was an easy choice. Jacob Fancy picks up the first star honors. That will do it for our broadcast here tonight. I'm James Faulkner for Duncan McLean behind the camera. We're back here Friday night as the Miramichi Timberwolves come to town. The final score here, Bearcats 3, Summerside Western Capitals 0.